welcome back now we going to talk about how to prepare for tracheostomy tube placement so we talk to the family we got a family consent agreed the patient is a right candidate and no okay and right candidate for that everybody on the same page now the moment we start thinking about the the fact the patient may need a tracheostomy or pig tube i should ask myself the following questions first is the patient any antiplatelets the spirit i'm talking about clopidogrel plavix uh prasagrel or effient prasagrel and tacagrel and the other name is brillantin aspirin is okay if the patient is on any of these medication please make sure you hold it five days ahead of the procedure what i do the moment i start thinking about it i hold these medications if okay to hold very important you know what was the indication was it a stroke okay or peripheral arterial disease or the patient had pci percutaneous intervention of his heart and he just had a stent if the indication is related to the heart special stent placement within a year please contact cardiologist contact the cardiologist or the patient cardiologist and ask them if it's okay to hold these medications and explain to them that we need the tracheostomy and let them guide you through that please do not hold them on your own if the indication is pci and a stent that was placed less than 60 uh, less than 12 months ago always consult with their cardiologist the next question let's put it one is the patient any anticoagulants I'm talking mainly apixaban or uh, uh, Eliquis or Rivaroxaban. There is Indoxaban and there is also uh, Prodaxa, which is Dabigatran. Okay, if the patient any of these or even Warfarin, if the patient any of these medications, please make sure you hold them the moment you start thinking about it because most of these medication need to be held for 48 hours before any procedure and if the patient need to be bridged based on the indication you can bridge them with heparin or enoxaparin if any issue you can use um, other integral let's say heparin induced thrombocytopenia you can use um, uh, arextra I forgot really the this is the brand name um, but it's called Arextra Argatroban of course in case we need so that is the second questions we need to ask the third thing is the patient hemodynamically stable the patient has to be stable enough to undergo the procedure which means not requiring a lot of high let me call it high vent support you're not gonna put a trach on somebody who's requiring 100% of i2 for example and peep of 14 who was on multiple vasopressors right so the patient still for example on CRT you want to make sure the patient is hemodynamically stable you want to make sure the patient is if he's having an infection infection is under good control if the patient was septic from UTI now he's hemodynamically stable and the infection is under good control it's preferable the patient is not bacteremic anymore so make sure we have that as well and then 
you look for possible contraindication. There is no absolute contraindication. To me, the absolute contraindication if the procedure is futile. That's gonna, it's not gonna help the patient. The patient's terminal and at the end of his life and the family wants to keep going. I think ethically you should not perform and should continue discussing with family just not to do it. But there is some relative contraindications like, for example, um, anatomical problems or an anomalies, uh, severe obesity, um, uh, uh, bleeding disorder. All of these can be really relative and can be, if we really need the, the tracheostomy, we, sh we, will be, we should be able to stabilize the patient to go through tracheomalacia. Very important not to forget about that again. Decision, for example, to put a tracheostomy in a tracheomalacia is we have to discuss it with the intensivist, we have to discuss it with the surgeon who will perform it, um, all of these things. So, usually the contraindications reviewed again by the perf whoever will perform it. And that's the next question, who will perform it? Whom should I consult to perform it? Now, it's important to know that usually patients with tracheostomy, they need also PIC tube. So remember with PIC in PIC tube videos, we said it's either performed by IR, surgery, or GI, right? Gastroenterology. Now tracheostomy, it's either percutaneous or surgical what are the difference percutaneous that means can be performed at the bedside I think with the ultrasound guidance um, where they go through the neck and start progressive dilatation of the neck and put the tube in and surgical where they go to the OR and with percutaneous can be done at bedside using the conscious sedation while well, surgical you have to move to um, to the OR most of the time and they open the neck and create the tracheostomy. It's kind of more of an invasive procedure. So usually they're done by ENT specialists or general surgery and I think also by IR possibly. So ideally you would rather have somebody who perform both so he can do them at the same time and as you see it's general surgery can perform both and that would be ideal but my recommendation Pick the person with the most expertise. Even if you have to call A here and B here, if A, A is the best physician to perform this and B the best, best physician to perform this, I would call both instead of calling C who is okay performing but not the best. That's how do I recommend. Also consult with the family because sometimes they, they don't want certain physicians also um, discuss that with them so now we reach that the patient uh, passed all these questions we mentioned the next thing once the surgeon comes he will again talk to the family get their consent make sure the patient doesn't have any contraindication from his perspective and then he will proceed put a schedule for that make sure you make the patient in PO at midnight before the procedure Next, we're going to talk about the tracheostomy tubes themselves. How do they look, their parts, general care, possible complication, how to deal with them. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.